Today we had the episode 68 part 1 update in Toilet Tower Defense. So there are 6 new units, 2 new toilets, an entire event, the lobby was changed to winter themed, and there is even an event pass. So let me show you guys real quick. I'm already at tier 21. Just by winning the first match you can get everything from the Beating Waves quest from 10 to 50. So I'm already on tier 21 from just that and well there are some other things like collecting presents. And now I'm on tier 24. Let's go. So you can pretty much get presents, gems, coins, and even units. So look here, Frost DJ Speaker Man, two tiers away, and you can get crates. So there's a lot you can get from this. Then there's a shop where you can get a crate for presents, boosts, and even gems. Like and subscribe right now or else Chimney Claws is gonna get you. Like Santa Claus, but um, evil. He's gonna eat all your presents. Look, there are new UIs. So on on the left side of the screen, everything is square. At the bottom, these UIs are now nice and rounded. But I'm gonna show you guys all of the new units, except for the reindeer speaker man. Well, I mean, I already showed three or actually four of the new units yesterday. Reindeer Speaker Man is not that interesting. He basically just does the exact same thing as the other Speaker Man, except like he's a little more expensive, so you can do up to 5,000 DPS, but costs a bit more. Anyways, the North Pole is not hard to beat at all. There are already 11,000 people that beat it, and if I refresh the game, bro, we are so close to 300,000 players. We have not hit it yet, but we're at 299,000. Anyways, 15,000 people have beat the event so far it is not hard. Let's start out with some Santa TV men. I'm gonna skip and then put a second one. They're basically as good as the Halloween thing in the beginning, but you can upgrade them a lot farther, and right after this, I'm gonna put the Elf Camera Woman just so I can show you guys them. Elf Camera Woman starts out punching and already has 200 DPS, so that is really good for the beginning. This is pretty much the best starter unit now. And now I already have all three Santa TV men, but if you watched my video yesterday, you already saw these things, so I'm not Gonna spend too much time showing them just all max them out and with the magical power of editing i will cut to when i get one of the new rare units okay never mind i'm not cutting to there because i just upgraded the santa tv man and this happened but what is this this was not what happened yesterday i have told evan to fix it now i'm gonna cut to these being maxed out i know it's not maxed yet but i want to show the frost toilet look at him he's pretty cool and the elf camera woman can actually block one stun since the beginning and a second stun later so so, um, uh oh, he's getting passed. Let me use this getting passed as an opportunity to show the Frost DJ Speaker Man. So, pretty much, this guy does AoE damage, and when you upgrade him, well, he pretty much, he's not doing the dance animation like he's supposed to. Okay, well, we'll get that fixed soon enough. He already got the Frost Toilet, so that's good. But he doesn't change where he's facing. Where you place him is where he stays, because, I mean, to be fair, he does get a lot of equipment on the ground, so it wouldn't really make too much sense for him to constantly turn with all his DJ setup, and he ends up having like 240 AoE range in the end, so it all works out. She's not doing enough damage, so the 1500 upgrade gives her a ton more range and one gun. On level 5, the Santa TV man looks a little less broken. Same with level 4, I guess that's good. Now that I got a lot of scientists and stuff, I think it's time for me to show you guys the Titan Present Man. So, he's a red, which makes it look a little confusing when placing him, but I'm gonna put him right here. I guess. Basically, he does AoE and he throws random presents. So he has a chance to throw a present that explodes. He has a chance to throw a present that freezes the toilet. And it doesn't freeze it completely, but it does make it a bit slower. And then he also has a 1% chance to throw something that does a million damage. Well, in the beginning, it does less. It does a million when he's maxed out, but he's pretty good. His presents are definitely worth it. But he was supposed to start out not doing that much when he throws it. What happened to him. Maybe it's because he does AoE damage and throws this present, so Evan made it where it averages out, so he technically attacks every half a second. But he only goes up to level 3, surprisingly, so his first upgrade is 5,000. Instead of spending 5,000 on him, though, I'm going to upgrade the Santa TV men, because I feel like that is going to be worth it. But today, I'm just showing the units. Tomorrow, I'll do a Christmas units only challenge. Anyways, here's the Sinister Titan TV man, so he starts out with a snow snowball attack and AoE. So you can see the AoE is a blue circle, the snowball attack is a white circle, so when you upgrade him he gets a lot more range. And throwing the snowball with the middle chest laser looking thing is 
supposed to do damage. That's weird. In the script, it says that the snowballs do damage, but you can obviously see that it doesn't do damage, so I'm not too sure what's going on with that. Anyways, the Titan present man is stunned. That's one of his weaknesses. I need to max these guys out, so now he has 240 degrees. Elf camera woman is maxed out. Final upgrade for Titan present man is 40,000, though. That is pretty expensive. Bro, he looks funny. Evan is fixing it right now. He's gonna, like, dance and control it. I don't know why he has this animation for all of the levels. By the way, the golden present is a 1% chance, and when we max him out, it'll do a million damage. Pretty sure it does 250k damage right now. So basically, he has a small chance to instantly kill something, so he can actually clutch up sometimes. I finally got 40,000, so watch this. Now, he throws two presents per second, which means pretty much every 50 seconds, he has that golden present, and he does a lot of AoE damage. He's just pretty crazy. There's a reason why he's a godly. Actually, I think he can absorb two stuns at max level. I really need to upgrade the sinister guy, so 8,000, then the 12,000 upgrade makes him a little cooler. He's not supposed to lose damage on this upgrade. In the script, the snowballs do a lot of damage. Right now, he's pretty mid because the snowballs are glitched and don't do damage, when that's like half of the damage he's supposed to do, so he's actually a bit better than this. So there's the 14,000 upgrade, and he slows by 75% though, so he is like absolutely insane with the snowball. Or wait, no, it might not have been 75%, I think it's 50%. And the final upgrade is only 18,000, so he does 60,000 damage per second. Well, that's how much he's supposed to do. It looks like the snowball's damage was factored into the number, but it doesn't actually do that much damage, so that is a really weird glitch. But as you can see, he has a scythe, which is pretty nice. So him and the Titan Present Man are pretty crazy. Now, it's gonna be kinda easy to beat Nightmare with those, so that's why we're gonna work on adding Endless Mode in January. Once we have Endless Mode, we're probably gonna add some really rare, powerful units. We gotta make them rare so that, like, there are a lot of different strategies on Endless Mode with different rare units. I sold all my units, now we're gonna do a cool strategy called Glitting the Toilets in Santa's Workshop. I think they've been good and deserve to get some gifts this Christmas. All right, toilets, you get to go in Santa's workshop. Yay! So basically, you get presents and XP every wave. Now, if we go back to the lobby, here's the update menu, and I'm almost on the next tier, but on the missions page, we should add, like, a small red dot to indicate that you completed a mission and need to claim something. Anyways, play for 30 minutes is done, destroy a thousand toilets is done, and opening five Santa crates. So now, I am on tier 25. I can almost claim the Frost DJ Speaker Man, so if I played, let's say, another 3 or 4, I could destroy 2,500 toilets, get 2k XP, and then also get the 1 hour, so then that would be 3k, and I'd be on, like, tier 26, probably. But as of right now, people are starting to get the Frost DJ. Only 39 exists right now, wow. It's probably not updated or something, because it is not that hard to get to. 12 people have the Sinister Titan TV Man, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the update, four units in the new crate, two in the event pass. So episode 68 part two had a ton of new toilets and kind of one new character. So we're going to have one new unit and a lot of new toilets. I'll do a leaks video for that probably the day after tomorrow. So as always, subscribe with notifications on and like the video. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.